Hey guys, it's Sky Basher here. Just want to bring you kind of a quick tip on what I do to my RC bodies once I purchase them. I'd take either the Shoe Goo or E6000 and uh, some drywall tape and line the body. And I'll cut in a couple of shots on the big rock as uh, I was doing it. But uh, you just basically take the sheetrock tape, which is sticky, it's got a sticky backing to it. You just cut it, line the body the best that you can. And a trick that I learned from uh, Kevin Tabbitt, if you take a hot glue gun, once you put this tape down, it just barely sticks to the body. It's not uh, a real good adhesive. But if you'll take your hot glue gun and just run a bead around it, it'll stay there once it's cured so you can put the shoe goo or the e6000 on it now the shoe goo works a little bit better this is self-leveling so if you're trying to do an area like this laying down and then you set it up to dry it will actually run you know with gravity so the self-leveling e6000 it works really good you just got to keep that in mind you may have to do it in stages you know, do, do a flat area and then leave it up like this to set up and then do another flat area, let it set up and then do another one. But uh, when I bought this the other day, they only had two little tubes. So I ended up getting some of this, which works just as good. But uh, the Big Rock body is actually really thick stock, but I wanted to add a little bit of protection like I do all of my bodies and uh, it works really good. The uh, EXB body, I done the same thing to it. I used the drywall tape, and uh, this is actually all E6000 here, no shoe goo. But uh, once I get it done and it cures, I take the plastic dip in a rattle can, and I'll put uh, four or five coats on this. It just adds another level of uh, flexibility and uh, strengthens the body. This EXB body, I was surprised when I got it how thin and flimsy it was. The Big Rock body was quite a bit thicker than it, but still, that little trick does work good. So you basically just need a, a good glue gun, some drywall tape, and one or the other of these, and then the plastic dip just blacks it out, makes it look a little better, and adds another small level of protection. So. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this tip helps someone. I know there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube that uh, kind of covers this, but I wanted to share with you kind of how I do it. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.